Many parents ask me about crawling and if it is really important or not. There's such a sequence of events that go on before a child will ever take that first motor movement of opposite arm and leg. So that in and of itself, those are very important milestones that you have to accomplish. But crawling is the ability for both sides of the brain now to learn how to communicate with one another. So when you come into this world, you have a set motor pattern going on and the primitive reflexes really lock the neurology into these particular patterns. We've talked about a couple of them in subsequent videos, but just to do as a little refresher, the Moro reflex is all about going into flexion and extension by being startled by some sudden change in their environment. Then there's asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. Now that particular reflex, when the baby turns its head, that arm and leg on that side are going to go out. So that really puts a cut all the way down the midline of our body, the way it communicates. So if I don't get to crawling where I'm actually using the opposite arm and leg, then that particular reflex stays stuck. And one of the greatest things that happens when the reflex is stuck is that the child's eyes aren't able to cross the midline. And you need to be able to cross the midline to learn how to read, to know how to do anything going from left to right. So if that reflex stays firing, the child's neurology is completely changed. So moving through those primitive reflexes we get to see the maturation of development because the child is going into first the commando crawl or the army crawl where they look like they're slithering on their bellies and they're really pulling themselves along with their arms and the legs aren't necessarily involved in a flexed position. They are digging their toes into the ground and that is a very important part to get them ready to come upright on their hands and knees so that they will be able to take that motor stride of left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. It is very important that children crawl. It is a very important milestone for both sides of the hemisphere to be able to communicate to one another. Now, you're probably going to hear me say this in numerous videos, but you have function on both sides of your brain, but they do different things. So, for example, the need to talk is on the right. The work of talk is on the left. If you don't have the right timing between both hemispheres, then that particular piece of, of neurology as you're maturing is interfered with. So it is a misrepresentation to tell parents that it's not really important if your child crawls or not. One of the funniest commercials that I have watched over the years is the Pampers commercial. And it shows all these little babies crawling around. And there is the unique little girl who shuffles on her bottom. Now, we look at many things when we look at children. We look at fine motor, gross motor, social communication, and adaptation. Now, that little girl in that commercial is definitely adapting. But she is not getting the typical opposite arm and leg crawl. So when you look at her, the first thing I look at is I go, why can't she get onto her hands and knees? Well, that would mean that you'd have to be able to lift up your head so that you'd be able to see where you're going. So children, they can't come and tell you at this age, hey, something's bothering me, but rather they avoid the next tier of movement that they're supposed to acquire. So there are typical patterns that we are supposed to see, and they are truly laying down very important parts of neurology that you're going to use for your entire life. So I think it's very important that we understand developmental milestones, that we know how to look if our child is doing the typical pattern. And I definitely feel that I would check with somebody like me, who that's all I do is work with kids in their development to make sure that your baby's on the right track.